We're going to have a look at how to use the solid element operation tool to understand how to cut into a, a terrain mesh. So we've got our floor plan that we were looking at last week, uh, which hasn't developed much more between then and now. Uh, but I've added in a few slabs, a slab for the, the bottom of the floor and a slab just outside of the garage and a, a slab down the side of the building just to see how we're going to use these and in order to be able to make this easy we're going to select these three slabs and we're going to group them together just so we don't lose them once they start to go into the the mesh of the site. What I'm also going to do just because this is such a large site I'm going to put a, a marquee around just this area and I'm using the thick marquee and the advantage of the thick marquee is that it cuts through all stories. So let's go show selection marquee in 3D. And so we can see this particular part of the site. Now as I was saying, uh, this is a, a sloping site which means that part of our building is in the ground, part of our building is hovering above the ground. Now what we're going to do is to elevate this or in this case sink this into the ground so that the bottom edge of our building is touching the ground uh, which means this is going to be hovering slightly but it's going to mean that the bottom sorry the top edge is sunken a lot deeper again so to do this we're going to our story settings and we're reducing the size we've got here so we're going to reduce this down to 5 175,000 and then we're going to increase from our basement up another meter, so four meters. So that has shrunk that into the ground, sunken it into the ground, so the, just the edge of this slab is now visible. And that's going to be fine for now. I could elevate that a little bit if I wanted to, it doesn't matter too much. We'll make this four or three and make this zero. So I'm always just trying to counter what I'm doing. Great, that's a bit better. Now currently, if we zoom right in, what we sort of see is that the wall is disappearing into the slab. There's no black line, there's no edge. And what we're wanting to do is to cut it. But more importantly, if I was to turn off this or view inside, I don't want to see any grass inside. I want my slabs to be cutting out my grass, or the technical term in this case is my terrain mesh. So by selecting one of these slabs, I've selected all of the slabs because I grouped them together before. And then going to design, I'm going to choose my solid element operation tool. Now, selecting my slabs, these are going to be my operator elements. So I'm going to click my get operator elements, and we see that's chosen three. Now I'm going to select my mesh. This is going to be my target element. And the option that I want to use in this case is subtract with upwards extrusion. If you have a look at these two diagrams, we see two shapes, and it's showing the, the cut or the action that's taking place, the operation that's taking place. So I want my vertical element, in this case the mesh, to be cut with everything else above the horizontal element, the slab, to be cut away. So subtract with upwards extrusion, use their own attributes, and then execute. So we can see that our mesh has now been cut away so that the slab sits inside of that. Now to understand this better, what I'm going to do is go back to my terrain story, just select the mesh, and then open it on its own. So what we're seeing is that we've cut into our mesh with that slab.
when we show all that again, we can see that this slab is very far down into the ground. Uh, and if we wanted to, of course, we can add some walls and terrace that. We could add a, a berm where we've got a roof that's falling away from this. So let's have a look at how to do this and we'll add it to it. Sorry, wrong story. Let's get our roof tool, single plane roof tool, making sure that it's starting at ground level. choosing which way it's ramping and I'm just going to make something up at the moment. Let's make that 6 meters. I don't really want to cover fill but it doesn't really matter too much either. And I want this to represent as grass. I'm going to before I do anything else, group these together. Edit grouping group. So that means again, when I select it, my roof's going the wrong way. Let's go back to the story setting. Roof is at minus 11. Let's make it um, plus 10. Yep, that's now cutting out through the floor, which is what we wanted to happen. So we can now select this. Design, solid element operations. Get operator. Get target. Subtract with upwards extrusion. Execute. So this is one way. Uh, there's a few different ways that we could edit this mesh in order to be able to represent that the way that we wanted to. Now, of course, that's sitting up as well. So let's just drag that down a bit. Now, ideally, I don't want this to only happen in one direction. I'd want to batter away from this building in multiple directions. Uh, but in reality, I wouldn't do it so extreme as this either because I wouldn't want the grass to be up around the edge. So I'd be continuing a slab that extends all the way around and, and continuing a batter. And I could either use a roof to create that batter or I could create a mesh to use that batter or I could create a morph. And that's probably the, the more likely method of how I'm going to create it. Now, if I want to make this work better, make this batter work better. Um, what I probably want to do is line up so it means that it's cutting through at the a consistent height from one side to another. So maybe, maybe I'll just reduce this on a slight angle like that for now. So that's a little bit more natural. Again, I could play with this a little bit more to make that exact, uh, but that's starting to represent the way that I want it to show for now. And of course, I could use a roof to batter the other way to be able to represent as fill. where it's joining into the ground. Now, if I wanted to make this work very easily, rather than having to adjust it, I could just reduce it. That would be the, the smarter way of working. Uh, but I could also use a solid element operation tool in the other way around and go, my roof is now going to become my target. My terrain is going to be my operator, and I want subtraction with downward extrusion. So that will now cut out the bottom of my roof so that we don't have any leftover bits. 
So there's just a couple of very simple methods of how we could use the slabs and roof tools in order to create a cut and fill on our site or batters.